Good morning everybody, I hope you're all doing great. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can bypass an iCloud lock device with cellular data and fully untethered. I received this device to bypass which is currently disabled and passcode locked. I'm doing it for free to test how it can work with Sliver. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you'll need to do is a download Checkerine and Sliver tool. So in my previous videos, I already shown how you can download those. And the next step is to install the Sliver tool. I'm not going to repeat that anymore, but I'm going to replay this video that I've uploaded previously. So watch this. That folder, and you will see two files here. So for the application, you're going to need to drag this in your applications folder, just like this. Hold it, and then release. So I'm not going to do that anymore because I've already done that. And as you can see, I have already this Sliver tool in my applications folder. There we go. Now we're going to go back to that file and uh, this readme now text, you have to open it and then expand it a bit and now we're going to launch and find terminal, we're typing it in and then hit enter, so terminal is ready. So find this command and copy paste this, sudo chmod and then paste it here. There you go. Set it aside. And then let's go back to our applications folder. Then find the sliver tool. And then right click. And then select show package contents. Now you will see the contents folder. Just click that and then this folder that's labeled resources, you have to drag this into the terminal, just like that. And there you go, it will type the exact location of the folder and just hit enter. It's gonna ask for a password, you're just gonna type in your Mac password. And there you go, you're done. You can so after you're done with sliver installation, you can now begin with the jailbreak. So once you have the phone connected, Chakrain will not detect the device primarily because it's disabled. So what we're going to do is to put it and force it into recovery mode. So in order to do that, let's power off the device. So let's click the power button five times. Just like this. Just continue holding until we see the recovery screen. And now we've successfully entered recovery mode. So iTunes will open. So you're just gonna have to close that out. And you can see here that it's an iPhone 7 in recovery mode. So we'll hit start and then let's re get ready to enter DFU. Okay, I'm gonna hit that now. And then we're pressing the home button and the volume down all together. Releasing the power button while keeping the volume down. And now we're in DFU mode so at this point we'll just have to let it do its thing it says booting up and it's injecting the exploit and running some codes in the background in a few seconds it should be done and there you go we're done device boots up iTunes will always pop up so you're just gonna have to close that down again and you can see here over the side the device is still disabled if by any chance you are unable to proceed with the jailbreak and in getting this error negative 20 and the fix for that is to patch your USB with the Mina USB patcher 
In a previous video, I've already shown and demonstrated that, so check that out. I've provided the link in the description below. So let's continue. Let's head over to the Applications folder and open our Sliver tool from there. Okay, so we have the Sliver tool. We have the Sliver tool open. Click More Options. And now Untethered Bypass. We are now Vice Info. It says Got it. TCPA is activated. And now we're going to do step two Get Files. It says File successfully extracted. So we're done. So if you check our desktop, you will see an activation folder that has been created by the Sliver tool. That's the backup for your activation files. You can go ahead and check that out if it's inside there and then zip it to back it up. So after you back it up, we're now ready to flash the device with fresh restore using 3U tools in our Windows PC. So let's shut this off and we'll head over to our and now we're under Windows PC and over the side you can see that I have my iPhone which is still currently disabled. So now we're going to flash it using 3U tools. So the device is not detecting so I think we have to force it into recovery. So we're going to do the same steps. So it's still turning off, we have to wait for it to fully shut down. And now we're fully shut down so let's prepare to put it in recovery. So I'm just holding the power and the volume down until we see the recovery screen. There you go. So now we're on a recovery mode. And you can see here on my 3U tools that the phone is ready to be flashed. So I'm just going to search for the IPSW, which we downloaded from the IPSW.me website. And the latest that is sounded by Apple is the 13.5.1. So now I am starting the flash. So this will take a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward for this video tutorial. And finally, we're done flashing. As you can see, 3U tool says it's completed, and now we're just going to wait for the device to boot up so we can now close 3U tools for this. And let's head over to our Mac PC to bypass the device and activate the 3G and cellular data using Sliver tool. So now we're back into our Mac device and we are on the final steps of our bypass process which is to activate the device using the cellular activation files that we've extracted earlier. And let's begin. First is we're going to put the device into recovery mode again so that we can jailbreak it with CheckRain 10.2. We're doing it right now. And we have here CheckRain. There you go, we're on to recovery mode again. Now we're going to proceed with entering DFU. So to do that, let's hit start. Let's now click start. We're holding the side and the power down. There you go, we're on DFU mode. So now it's injecting its exploit and letting it do its thing. It's now booting up and we're done. So after that, we're going to proceed with the sliver activation. So let's open Finder and look for the sliver application. Open it. There you go. iTunes is opening again, so just close that out. Okay, we're here in sliver. Click more options. And then we go to untether. We've done step one and two, so we're just gonna have to do step three, which is rely device info. And then, and then activate device. And there you go, it says device activated. So now let's check the phone and see if it's already activated. There you go. 
It says data privacy, so that indicates that we've successfully bypassed the device. So now we're going to continue the setup process so that we can test the SIM card if it actually works. So just continue guys, continue. Don't create password. Don't transfer any files. Set up later. Set up later. Don't use. Agree. Install manually, not now. Disable. So all these configurations will have to do it later. Just select later and then continue until we head over to the menu screen. There you go. So we're on the menu screen. So now we're going to test the SIM card if it actually works. So we're putting on our SIM card guys and hope this works. There you go, it's searching for signal. And there you go, you can see the carrier logo. So let's do a test call. Put it on speaker. <laughs> so there you go guys, it just successfully bypassed with signal. So that's it guys, you can see here that we can actually make calls and this device is actually fully untethered. And after this, I'm going to test how it works with Siri, FaceTime and all other applications out there. So I hope you learned from this tutorial, good luck!